right, today is February 19th and I wanted to do an updated video because today is supposed to be a very windy day with 45 mile per hour winds. All right, it's 9.46 a.m. There's my little wind meter. Right now about 10, 12, okay, we're getting up there. Here's the power output. Over 120 watts. Let's see what it did so far. All right. 5.54 kilowatts made in 964 hours. That's 40 days, but we're gonna take a sample of a windy day today. And with this being the modified one, we'll take a look at the regular one. Three point five one kilowatts in the same amount of time. Take a look and see what they're doing outside. All right, there's the better of the two. There's the regular one. And for the hell of it, we'll just take a look at the solar panels. Come on, Marina. All right. <laughs> Ranard say 30 watts. Okay, what it made is 57 kilowatts in the same amount of time, 40 days. All right, and it's February, so it's cloudy a lot. And there's short Sundays. Go back and look at this one. We'll come back and take a look at this after a while when the wind dies down and see what she actually made. 28 mile an hour winds. doing holy I just missed a big gust of wind that took this thing over a thousand rpms uh, here we go 600 It's 8.44, close enough to for an 11 hour sample. It's the same day. Winds are dying down, although they still do get up there. As you'll see in the watt meter, it's still making power, but we'll cut it at 11 hours. And let's see what she did. Okay, 6.11 kilowatts in 975 hours and this is for the modified one let's see what the other one did <clears throat> okay 3.91 kilowatts and for the hell of it we'll go look and see what the solar panels did See if you can even see that. Uh, here you go. 58.8 kilowatts in the same hours. 
So we'll get this on paper and see what she looks like. All right, it's February 22nd, 10.30. Solar panels are making about 150 watts. And it is still a cloudy, crappy day out. All right, folks, the totals are in of my 11 hour sample of a windy day. And even though at times I was seeing a couple hundred watts on the kilowatt meter, in the end, after 11 hours, the totals are pretty sad, actually. Remember, if you're seeing 200 watts, you know, on that kilowatt meter, you have to maintain that for an hour to actually bank 200 watts. So let's take a look at a longer period of time. So here are the results after 975 hours. And I have been told that wind turbines actually work better in the winter because it's a lot windier. And they outperform solar panels uh, because it's usually cloudy all the time and the sun doesn't stay out as long. Well, I beg to differ because it is winter out. And take a look at what my regular seven blade wind turbine did. 3,910 watts. Okay, that's an average of four watts per hour. Now take a look at the solar panels. A lot better results, I'd say, especially for being winter. But now, did I actually make this power? Not really, and I'll explain why. All right, you see how this RPM meter shows that the blades are spinning. You see it's not making any power. It won't start making any power until after you hit 200 RPMs. Well, that's when it zeroes out. To make any power, you have to be at about 240. So you're gonna have to do some adjustments because this thing doesn't make power all the time. The wind doesn't blow all the time. Now, for my adjustments here, it's pretty hard to figure out when you're actually making power and when you're not. So we're gonna just kind of meet it halfway and we'll take 475 hours worth of idle time and we'll multiply it by the grid tie watt draw and you'll see we come up with almost a thousand watts. Well, we're gonna have to actually take that off of this total up here so we can figure out a more accurate amount of power we've made for that period of time. All right, after doing my adjustments, now my seven blade wind turbine only made 2,912 watts, averaging about three watts per hour. Well, if solar panels don't work very well in the winter and you need a wind turbine, I don't see it. Because actually, my solar panels are putting out 20 times more power per hour on an average than a wind turbine. And these things are rated from anywhere from 16 to 2,000 watts. I've seen them advertised for. Now, my four solar panels are only rated for 920 watts on perfect conditions. Now that I know how much power I make per day, I can actually figure out for the year what I'll be saving. So if I make 72 watts per day, every day of the year, and the power company charges me 16 cents a kilowatt, I will save $4.21. So in other words, I'm throwing a few hundred bucks out there and I'm chasing pennies. Let me put it to you a different way. Say you have a really good friend and he says he's gonna sell you a complete wind turbine set. You get everything, poles, brackets, hardware, grid tie, even a kilowatt meter. And he says he's gonna sell it to you for $421 and he's gonna guarantee every electrical component for life. You'll never have to stick any more money into it if anything breaks. 421 bucks sounds like a pretty good deal. And you already know, you could save $4.21 per year. So the question is, how many years would it take you to recover your $421 investment? Now you're gonna have people tell you, well, your wind turbine ain't up high enough. You got too many trees around, your wind is too turbulent. Well. How many people can put a wind turbine up 65 feet in the air and how much do you think that would cost? Now, 
Missouri Wind and Solar does have a video on YouTube and it's where to install a wind turbine and there's some points in there where not to install one. I encourage you to watch that video because it pretty much eliminates everybody who's considering getting a wind turbine unless you live on a farm or out in the desert somewhere. Also there's a bunch of videos on YouTube where they're showing the power output on your wind turbines and when they're using a kilowatt meter they don't like to hit this purple button here because they don't want you to see how much power that thing is making over a period of time because they know it's not very good as well uh, also you'll hear people say well I'm not using a grid tie I'm charging a battery bank okay well if you're gonna charge a battery bank you'll probably get a little more power into it but remember if you pull a thousand watts out of a battery bank you're probably gonna have to put about 14 back in all right you're not really gonna be able to do that too well with a wind turbine even though you're making 72 watts per day with a grid tie how many watts do you think you'd make just running it straight to a, a battery bank maybe twice that not really sure but in any case let's say Let's say you could, on a perfect scenario, make a thousand watts a day, every day, guaranteed for a whole year. You're only saving 58 bucks for the whole year. Does that sound like it'd be an investment you'd really want to make?